Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm back with another footage, House of Dubs. Um, this is how to warzone with a regain situation. I'm over here in duos, and we land super pooper, and uh, shit got sticky, wound up having to go to the gulag, and I'm just gonna be breaking down what's going on in my head when it's a regain situation, when the match just doesn't seem to be going your way, and anything that you do or try just seems to be the wrong move. Because these games happen, uh, it's Warzone, definitely the price you pay if you put enough time into it, these games are going to pop up. Um, just don't ever lose hope, stay in the fight, and let's go. Um, obviously Super Pooper is not my favorite spot, just uh, clearing it out. My um, preferred way to go about things, that guy just got shit on. Um, my preferred way to go about things is clear everyone out of Super Pooper and then go buy the loadout. Um, due to, due, due to your own discretion, uh, it gets pretty ratty. There's guys that like to hide in safe haven. There's some dark shelves, dark corners, yada, yada, yada. Not my, uh, go-to landing spot, but I had a case of the fuck it, so I was landing there a couple times yesterday. Um... Yeah, we're moving out with three kills. I'm just listening, listening. I got this new LMG, which is going to get nerfed, but that's definitely the gun you want for these gunfights. Um, my buddy lost his gulag, so all I'm trying to do now is get over to a buy shop to buy him back. I don't really care about the loadout at this point. It's dirty duos, so I want to get him back. See this guy pull up, so I throw a weird little smoke grenade play just to shake things up. You know, shake up the bat a little bit. You don't normally see that pop out, drop him, and now I'm thinking police station is not safe. We got a Bertha pulling up. We got dudes over on airport DMZ. I mean, it's it's just a fucked up place. Very congested, especially in the beginning of the game. A lot of different places you can get third party from. Me, I'm making that push over to airport. I see that motherfucking guy second floor in the cop shop. He rips me. I got one plate. I'm thinking, oh shit, I got this birth of park behind me. I don't even know. I, I just I just knew it was a bad spot. So it's fuck it, whatever. Rest, Congested area. That's why I feel like it's a slot machine at the beginning of the, the game to drop Superstore. Um, in the gulag, just kind of laughing about it. Um, I think that was maybe our second game dropping Superstore. His second game on, so just warming up on the sticks. The little Superstore drop, see if we can heat things up a little you. bit. Waiting around in my gulag, not really feeling too hopeful about it. Uh, just uh, the plan here is gonna grab a vehicle and a supply run and get the homie back and regain. Oh, God, I hate this gulag, dude. Want to be hijacked? I just feel like it's not, not the map that you want for a gulag. It is what it is, though. Alright, flying back in. Scavenger's going to be done in a couple seconds. Not going to drop back on Superstore. I'm grabbing this heli that's untouched at airport here. And then from there, I'm going to go grab a supply run. See if we can get, like, uh... Motherfucking... Pretty comfortable with this spot, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this plate on the roof, see if I can find a gun or something. Of course, an M1911, right? A little molly wop. Boom, scavenger finished. Hopping in the heli. Grabbing that supply run. I sincerely am trying to help you guys because I do see a lot of people still struggling. I know today alone I got this win yesterday. I know today alone I saw one of the buddies on my team. He got a win with us. He had one kill. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> one year after this game comes out and you, you went in with one kill, bro. Uh, so I, I understand there's people still struggling and people that are still very interested in this game and that want to play this game. But at the same time, guys, just recognize none of the big streamers or anyone streaming this game for content is actually 
enjoying this game anymore. Go watch them. I mean, they're just grinding it for the viewership. This is what people want to watch, so the content creators are grinding it. Obviously, there was guys getting their loadout at the supply run. That's what I mean. I mean, just felt like everything I was doing was not the right play, so I was getting a little upset. Just keep going, keep going, keep pushing onward. Uh, there were some guys that bought a loadout down at that buy shop at the gas station, a hospital. They ripped me. So now I'm just uh, looting hospital, pretty comfortable with it. No, a lot of the loot locations, so I'm just rolling through, popping whatever boxes I can find, uh, oh, looking for this like last bit of money here. I know those guys just got a loadout down there, so I'm moving to the other end of hospital. Um, I feel pretty comfortable with the ins and outs of this building, so I'm not I'm not too afraid on how to finesse two guys with their loadouts. It just comes yeah, with practice. You'll get more confident uh, with it. I know some people do freeze up and they're like, I can't do this. And then that's what winds up killing them in the end is their lack of confidence in the situation. Just stay cool headed. Boom. Got the buddy back, moved out, got a loadout, the loadout from circle one. Um, and now we're moving through downtown. Guy got dropped, moving in, making call outs, communicating with my buddy. More guys moving in, drop one, C58 is a slapper. If you ain't using it, you're already behind the times. He comes, he's got another one down low, so I just reposition to a better angle. This building right here, boom, kill shot. Right here. So we're going in for the kill, regaining, getting some money up, and now things are looking a lot better than how they looked at the beginning of the game. This is this is what I'm saying, never lose hope. You can turn a game around so quickly. You never know what will happen. Just don't lose hope. So now we get double berthas and we're rolling out and getting active with it. I'm trying to catch up on these kills because the lobby's dropping. We got 32 left. Um, saw some shots on the mini map over here, so I put a blue ping on it. Push it. Down one guy. Calm that to my buddy. Go plate up. They call it precision on me. My buddy's getting active with it. We got a good spread here. Always, always get a good spread going. Know your fucking surroundings. Know the situation. Know what's going on. Know your objects of hardcover. And be able to have a good spread. Don't gaggle fuck. Don't be, don't be just chilling three deep butt fucking each other in a fucking same room i mean that's just low skill level shit i mean safety and numbers i guess but once you start getting in the sweaty lobbies you're gonna want to start stepping it up so better to start early than later because i mean it already is later it's a year after the fucking game came out this game's gonna get stomped out and die when battlefield 2042 drops so we rotate into lumber because we see this circle is getting kind of cucky i mean if you take a look at that shit it's it's an open field, like right no here. hard cover. If you look where that is realistically closing, that's a Probably shit rat circle. Rat so I'm glad we got the double berthas, and now I'm saying let's troll up in these ratty ass hills for those sniper squads that are just hiding in the trees and whatnot. So we're just double berthing, just kind of combing through the hills, looking for dudes hiding. Take your time with it. You know you don't have to engage if you don't feel comfortable with it. But I feel comfortable with it, and I'm trying to take everyone out. He comes. He's got some people on him. Unfortunately, his Bertha rolled and fucking killed him. I mean, that that's just Call of Duty itself right there. That's some just bullshit. I would be way more pissed than he was. Believe that. Are you kidding me? It didn't even hit me. Uh, drop the one dude, down him, and now what this situation is calling for is money for me to buy him back. So I know he had money on him, and I know that guy... He, I just killed had money on him and we're hoping to get enough to buy him back if I would have got enough to buy him back off that I would have hopped in the Bertha and dipped right away for the buyback but now I gotta find these last bits of money for the buyback I know these two different points of interest that have buildings and loot is probably not gonna be the safest there's duo squads hunkered down in those buildings you already know how these final circles are gonna go so I'm thinking I gotta kill this last motherfucker I gotta get the last bit of money and then I gotta revive him and that's how we win the game so I'm sticking in the fight I'm looking around uh, obviously I didn't know his exact location so when he started fighting the best move for me would have been to get to cover plate up reposition and challenge that again but instead i just went ahead and cockily shot towards him lost the gunfight but had a self revive and he didn't come to finish me on the mini map he you can see he hopped in my buddy's bertha there and i see he's pulling up in the bertha so what i do is i get in the back seat of the cargo truck right there and boom he just drove up with the best angle he fucked up so bad and now i got money for the revive here i am i'm driving towards this buy shop that's out of zone if you got a gas mask i got enough for this gas mask 
mask, buy him back, and then a new gas mask to get back in his zone. If you can make these plays, definitely do it. You if you space. can't, then don't do it. But I'm fully comfortable. I don't give two shits. I'm getting my buddy back. That's more important to me. So we get the job done. We make the play, and we're headed back to the loadout. This is where fully loaded classes are really important and really nice because my buddy can still grab his normal loadout, and then I can tap the fully loaded class and give him full AR and full SMG. So we pull up, I let him hit it, and then I hop out and hit it while he watches. You know, be be ready for that du duo's war. Um, fortunately, I also had a munitions box on me, which is really lucky. I forgot I picked that up, so I got a fully loaded class and a munitions box. You know, we're good to go. Uh, give him some plates if he needs plates. Um, I had seven, so I'm down to share. Um, and now we're just waiting. Lumber's obviously locked down. We got eight other squads, 12 other people. And I say this blue ping hill with the Bertha, this is where we start from. Let the zone close in. And then we're going to move up to a little head glitch rock. Now what I'm doing is I'm just combing through this circle, looking around, trying to find people, those lurkers, those guys hiding in bushes. You know, you've played this game enough times to know the ratty shit that people do. Those desperate motherfuckers who aren't really trying to fight. They're just trying to hide. And yes, there we go. We found a squad. I calmed that to my buddy. Try to give him the best directions as possible. And then played up and get back in the gunfight. Boom. First guy drops. Pushes way too cockily. I had no hard cover there for him at all. And now I'm just looking around for that last guy. He wound up being right, very right close us, right, right us, underneath right. us. Well, I hop out, get the job done. And now we got some more ammo, some more plates. And what we're doing from here, I drop him off at that rock. We already planned that out and talked that out before we pushed up. So I drop him off at a very good rock. I see a sniper off to the left, just just Close getting in the circle here. Right and that's when I'm like, okay, I got to kill this motherfucker. Predict that he's hopping in the trailer, so I shoot the doorway he'd be running through, and that last shot clips him. I already assume that he's going to have a self-revive, so I just think, fuck it, we got to finish this guy up so he doesn't cause problems later. So I use Bertha's hardcover, double semtex it, push it, boom, dude didn't have a self-revive, so better play it safe than not. I hop back in the Bertha, I'm coming back to my buddy, and yeah, what we have here in this situation is a sniper down low, we know a squad's down there, at the same time we run into a riot shielder in this last circle here, and that's when I come to my buddy, we're probably going to run into a riot shielder, just a heads up. And he saved two Semtexes, but yeah, uh, thankfully yeah, that fucking it. riot shielder got taken care of. There he we is right there, shielder. little rat, just He's literally up. looks at me with his riot Not shield yet, and crouches. Some up. of these dudes He's can be crazy good shield. with that riot shield. You got to you gotta be careful. Some of these guys are talented with that stuff. Um, and we got the best position in circle. I mean, I got him on that rock. It's a very good head glitch rock, a lot of hard cover. And then I'm using the Bertha's cover. And you can also mount up on a parked Bertha with that edge of the, right there, right there, yes sir. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that's called, the bed of the truck. Right here, right <laughs> so we got a good spread going, we cleared out our half of the circle, and now we're just raining right, hell on yeah. these guys that are over in lumber. I mean, we, we take the strongest point in circle, clear everyone that's out of that, and then we got our backs covered, and we're just looking at the rest of the fucking map. Uh, 2v1, just common where he is. He's in these logs right here. The guy kind of scurries around like a little rat, doesn't know what to do. Um, so my buddy starts moving into me. I'm watching over him. We're just common where the guy's going. Um, this live ping that he hits is honestly the best because he can shoot through that green fence, and this guy gets fucking dropped. GG's. That's a regain. Don't stop. Good job, Do not stop so until you are that fully dead. One, buddy. That I will fight to my dying oh. breath to Valhalla. All right. That's a regain. This is the yeah, house of doves. Enjoy yourself. Ask questions uh, if you need. I'm here I to help. We I have a lot of fucking knowledge. Dude, if you guys really want to play Warzone for the next few months, I have you, you plenty of knowledge to share like, with you guys. God, help you guys get aggressive, like get comfortable with this right stuff. Place. I mean, these lobbies ain't getting any easier. I can promise you that. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>